Are you ready? Yeah! Today's story is about Yaya, the enlightened ancestor, and his son, Yayael. Yaya loved his child, but as he grew older, Yayael became more and more rebellious. When he reached maturity, Yayael attempted to do what all sons do to their previous generations of gods. He tried to kill him. That's right. But Yayael failed. And once his anger was overwhelmed by grief, his father placed his bones inside a pumpkin and hung it outside of his home. As time passed, he requested his wife to help bring the pumpkin down so he could see his son again. And as he slowly opened the gourd, they both discovered that all the blood had turned into water and all the bones into fish. No matter how much Yaya and his wife ate, the fish would persist. The water too was infinite. Yaya El gave back. Mm -hmm. And it was that for a long time until one night. Four trickster ancestors found their way into Yaya's home and began to eat the fish for themselves. When the eldest heard Yaya returning, he tried to place the gourd back to its original place. But he tripped and the seemingly endless water and fish poured out into the world, forming the sea that separates the land. Is that why the sea is so scary? <laughs> no, this was before the world ended, but the lesson is still very relevant. Um... Nothing ever truly dies. Everything transforms and changes in ways we may not understand at the time, but death is never the end. But who we are... Ends. Have you rested, my beloved flame? Dr. Quinn, I... I hurt, burned, so many. I wasn't... Shh. Don't let that get into your head, Amelia. You did it. You found the rift, the core, that's causing everything to fall apart. Thank you. I... I want to go home. You are home, beloved. But we don't need to talk about that now. We'll build this place again, and there'll be so much to show you. Just let me protect you from the staff, from the rift, from yourself. <laughs> Dr. Quinn? I'll be right back. Play the game with the bravery of being out of range. We're still South and Maine with the bravery of being out of range. Still drinking the train with the bravery of being out of range. This is the third earthquake in an hour. The structure is collapsing. Then you're failing your duty as the bones of Midwich. Your job is to keep this place standing. I could do it if your men weren't mining and cleaning out my beautiful home. If I was out there instead of overseeing this tower made it of- It doesn't matter. If we get them all out of commission, we commit to the plan to save Midwich and Unfortunately, Penny aren't viable. We're going back to my plan. Evacuation of staff. 
Remaining inmates will return to their cells and- The collapse can cause a reaction that could affect whatever universe's midwitch is latched onto. Do you think we haven't gathered the data from all these inmates we've arrested? The class threes and fours? We're finding a way to cut the universal connections by any means necessary. My home isn't- What do you want me to do, Quinn? You can't bully me like you do to Drake. I want that coup. His status is shoot on sight. Would you let this happen to your sponsored? Your kin? I want that creature. I asked for it when it was captured, but Chevron- Then catch it before the guards shoot it, Bones of Midwitch. Exactly. If you have nothing else to explain, Li Kang you're dismissed. Dr. Quinn, go back to your pet. I'm trying to save what's left of my staff. Why aren't you helping me? Midwitch is not the universe I was tasked to protect. I cannot risk myself and the universe I'm tied to in order to save a parasite. You are not the Lacan Ku I met. I told you. What if I said- I am never interested in knowing what another me has done. If outside actions are in some way upsetting you, it is you who needs to reset your expectations of others. We were friends. <laughs> you did it. You found the rift. Was... Was she using me too? She... You're crying. I think you are too. I wish I didn't have to ask you this, but there is one last hunt I need you to do. I think I know how I can fix all this. Fix you. I can tell the NBCOs where you are, you know. B Penny! Penny! I don't know how much I have to repeat myself, but I'm sorry about what happened to Ganimar. I didn't- When is your unsick and out arriving, 66143 coup? It's been 13 hours since your murderous attempt and betrayal of my trust took place. Penny Opticon, Ganimar started this battle royale to execute inmates and, and leave you here. These are all contingency plans. Midwich Valley itself will be able to function once your Aunt Shekaran fixes the rift. We'll get new inmates and the directors will stay. The directors are still responsible for those deaths. Do you want me to think they deserve to be killing each other? I'm not helping because I think they're innocent, but because the directors are doing the same actions. Yet you see them as the exception. This is not how beings learn and change. And how would you know that? We're keeping the world, universes, safe. Anything goes. Through punishment? Revenge? A anger? When is your second on arriving, 66143 coup? Penny, I don't know! <laughs> If I was on the run from Penny and the MVCO, I'd go to the one place she wouldn't see me. <gasps> no, we are not in that void. This is an extension. It isn't... <sighs> focus. Please, please focus. Dodging every wire route we throw at him? 
It's calculating the area and detecting changes in the mass around it right before the black holes appear. It has to be innate for a creature that thrives in space. Hmm. How do we take it out? With something it wouldn't know. Hey, hey, what happened? Closed. It, it closed, but it's still inside. What is? I don't know. Stay focused. What's your name? Ian. Ian? Card Ian. You let the MBCO shoot him? He wouldn't tell me when his son Shikara was coming. Oh, we need him alive, Penny. You're the brain of Midwitch. You're supposed to make the logical decisions, to see, to analyze. I protect you too. Black Coral speaks its thoughts without filter. Brain of Midwitch did not say your eyes stop. See? I'm allowed to be upset. The three of us are equals. When I change, that's what you told me. And, and you two have just- Don't add fuel to the fire. Your outburst could cost us our home, our lives, your life, if that'll help you understand better. I'm sorry. Find him. Warden Stray is still missing. Take it up with Director Marilyn. This domain is collapsing at a rapid pace, Quinn. I was promised to become its overseer so I may continue my ascension. But it is a wasteland of corrupted realities crashing all at once. It serves no purpose or value to me. We're working on it. You are waiting for that Kusan Chekaran to arrive and take my birthright. Do you think I would allow such a disrespectful action? If you can fix this mess before he arrives, or if you can manage to convince the Anshikaran to give you this place when it's over, that's on you. This agreement was not a gift brought on by kindness. It was a need. And disregarding our agreement is no better than betrayal. Don't try me. <laughs> try as you might, Bones of Midwitch. We all know you are trapped in this obsidian cage made of the same burnt creatures you kept hoping would save you. Like their shards, it's a worthless endeavor. Instead, they will be your death. Mark my words. I will discuss Stray's disappearance with Fitzgerald. Keep in mind what I've said. Don't lose control. Uh, who are you? Amelia. Did did you help me? Yes. Are you the one who almost killed Gunnamard? Are you gonna hurt me if I say yes? No. Where, where are we going? There was shift-changing snow falling outside. I can melt it around myself, but I can't guarantee the same for you. I'm looking for a way around the caves, but... The earthquakes have changed everything. Around... to where? Is it true you can fix Midwitch? Lord Utzer, my dad can, I, I think, and, and if we run out of time, he could help everyone leave. If Midwitch collapses, it could react and spread to other universes. That won't solve anything. Then he'll know what to do. He has to. Don't! What? 
Don't touch me. I'm only carrying you because it's faster. I think I can walk now. I apologize for touching you. <sighs> it's not worth it. What is? I'm taking you back to the tower. We don't need to speak more than that. I don't want to go back there. We're going. Don't. Just don't make me angry. Come with me. I, I didn't mean to hurt Ganamar. That's not the issue. Let's go. No, no. I don't want anyone to use her or choose for me again. I'm waiting for my dad. I, I promise he'd help everyone. And then I'm going home. My home, my people, me, are infected by this parasitic cave. You can't tell me to hold on for someone who isn't here, and then say your failsafe is to leave and forget about it. I want to go home too. I apologize. The sooner you fix things, the sooner I can find the others, the sooner I can be me again. Please, please, I can't. I can't keep going on like this. It's not worth it. You keep saying that. It seems like whatever isn't, actually is. If you hadn't removed that optic from me, I... I wouldn't be here. I'll return my gratitude, Emilia. Somehow, but not under the director's orders. Please understand that. Can we... Can we keep walking? To where? I don't know, just... Sometimes I need to. I understand. Do you want me to let go? No. Please don't. It was an ingenious move to upload your mind onto the Midwitch Network, Director Chevron. It was a precaution. Better to save the mind in case Lamar tried to destroy the body. Why are you here? I, um, <laughs> I could use your advice. Continue. I know I'm parts of all the directors, but lately I've been feeling as a whole. I am my own person. I get angry and sad, delighted. It's affecting my judgment, it seems, and that's... That's frightful. Your AI is advanced enough to form a complex personality. I should know. I helped build it. But it would not surprise me that the valley itself could influence and alter your perception. We saw it with the rogue cicada unit that infiltrated the tower. Sonny, uh, Oscar. Correct. Is it detrimental to feel, to act on it? It is. It will cloud rational decisions. It lies to you. It will trick you into thinking everything exists within shades of gray when it simply is. Hmm. Do you not care for the other directors then? For me? I am simply pursuing knowledge. Is curiosity not fueled by emotion? Isn't there something oddly enlightening about it? Mine is controlled. It does not invite me into making the wrong decisions. Of letting inmates into the tower, hoping for assistance. Agreement nullified. Alerting Director Marin. Chevron. Chevron, I'm I'm so sorry. They promised they wouldn't. Give up the risk, Penny Opticon before you get any more of your loved ones killed.
It's not dangerous, oh. is it? Uh, Amelia! Amelia, they like me! It could grow a second or third mouth. Stop! This is fun! Try it! <laughs> you know, back home, trees and animals could kill you easily if they feed the catalyst and lose their sense of self. Well, they're not feeding the catalyst. They're a result of it. It's like stars. It's incredible this microverse created its own endemic ecosystem. It's alive! Made from what Midwitch has taken. Well, yes, but everything changes. Nothing ever truly dies. It's, it's here now, as this. I get it. When we die, we become the ground, the sea, and the sky, but what about when the planet dies? What then? Well, eventually it is encompassed by the sun, and those new elements wander space for millions and millions of years. Now they might land on a planet or help create a new satellite, and if probability is in its favor, those elements will become a living being once again. Reincarnation made of stars. It's a nice thought. Yes, and everything! To live is for the universe to perceive itself for a small moment. It forms connections with other versions of itself and with it, glimpses a small fraction of its lifetime. That's why it's important. But who it was ends forever. The love, hate, joy, sadness, our connections, all gone. Yes, it's time whether Long or short matters. What's the pain for, then? I don't know. A consequence, maybe. What about regrets? A consequence. What about love? A consequence. If Midwitch is perceiving itself while dying, why am I? A consequence of its reach. Only destructive. Well, you saved me. How, how is that destructive? I've hurt. So many people. Did you mean to? I abandoned the first two I met after they got hurt. Then I pushed someone away who was only trying to help, and she was so caring. The other two, I... What if I did sometimes? Would you hurt me, Amelia? No, I don't have a reason to. From what I've learned here, I... I wonder if... I had left Ganimar to die. If things would have been better. If taking revenge like that truly helps in any way. I can't decide who you are, but I'm willing to trust you. I... I wish things were as simple as they were back home. It never is. I guess... I... I am alive then. And I can't go home. I know that feeling. When a... Uh, doctor in the tower... She wants me to stay with her when... If... This gets fixed. I don't know if that's what I want. Why? Is she kind to you? She's the kindest, but... Can you love someone who wants to keep shaping you into something you no longer are? Would you blindly trust them? What is it now, Warden Anake? Warden Stray is still missing. I'd like to assemble a scout team to find him. Either the inmates killed him, he is captured, or the snow has shift changed him in something unrecognizable. If it's the first two options, inmates will believe they are strong enough to leave Midwitch during this mess. For all intents and purposes, he is a fallen 
soldier. I trained him, Fitzgerald. Set your pride aside. This isn't about you, Anaki. I've had to make decisions to save the majority. Our focus now is an effective evacuation. I am not your lowly soldier sent to whatever country you were tasked to overthrow. I am demanding a squad to bring order back to my prison. I am your superior in this facility, Warden. You brought him into the staff. His failures reflect on you. Consider that before you keep risking more lives. What is Aku doing here? He isn't clairvoyant, but with Midwitch's collapse drawing closer, probabilities are becoming easier to see, according to him. He is assisting in exchange for his freedom. <laughs> A waste of an agreement. Kus are servants. They're altruistic and subservient by nature. By no means can they lead. If that's the case, why don't you ask the small coup to help you find your partner? I do not need to perceive probabilities to know you have two choices, Grand First. You either enforce your reign on this third rate microverse, or you use your efforts to find your precious warden. You cannot have both. Third option. I break your neck. My death would be tied to the quality of life of my home universe. I recommend against it. But if you dare lay a filthy hand on me, I will ensure you lose all the knowledge you've obtained. Want to put it to the test? That's enough out of both of you. <sighs> Drink! What is it? <sighs> I'm sick and tired of that thing exploding in my face! What thing? So said the lighthouse keeper As he struggled up the spiral stairs which led him to the laser flare which scanned the cosmic void. We're keeping constant vigil.